Hello and welcome here back with another episode of X4 Cradle of Humanity. We are currently a few weeks after the destruction of the amplifier station in game. And uh, you can see I have saved up around 24 million credits from the uh, trading stations I have put together. So I have this Argon Prime trading station and I also constructed a, another trading station over here in 18 billion to service the Talati. So I have uh, this uh, station over here focusing on the Talati economy. And then over here uh, in Argon Prime, I have the trading station focusing on the Argon and the Hatikva economies. So, uh, and a little bit of the Antigone Republic as well. So that is good. Uh, so I do have quite a bit of income coming in. Let's take a look at our, well, I say quite a bit. It's not that much, but uh, we do have... Uh, some pretty solid income coming in from all of our stations now including our manufacturers uh, that are making some of the refined metals and whole parts and then also have a graphene factory uh, producing graphene for the refined metals and then a food factory and then um, the two trading stations and then of course my headquarters which also is making a little bit of money but not nearly as much as some of these others so they are just uh simply uh bringing in the money while uh i sit here and spend the money on ships <laughs> so i've been buying more and more ships uh as we go on more and more uh traders for the stations and that seems to be working quite well so if we look at our stations right now we can see that we have uh several um, in the works, I am making some energy cells for the 18 billion factory right currently. So if we take a look at the 18 billion station here, I am producing some um, energy cells for them. And then they will also be making some silicon wafer production as well. So I usually... Oh, this is my silicon factory, excuse me. So the 18 billion, I also created a silicon factory for the production of silicon. This is not the trading station in 18 billion. That's that's separate. I had forgotten I had got this started. We're just waiting on some computronic substrate because unfortunately, the only recipe uh, or the only uh, plans I have for energy cell production are the Terran. And they require a computronic substrate for everything. And so it takes a while to get um, to get that going. So I think what I will do is I will go here and take a look at uh, this 18 billion station. I don't think I have any ships assigned to it, but I do have some assigned to my headquarters. Uh, how much did I need f for this thing? What are we missing? We are missing 96 computronic substrates. So... Let's just grab a ship from our uh, headquarters here because I don't do just a lot of training with it. So let's see if we can take one of these turn sentinels and send it over to uh, buy some Computronic substrate from, from someone. Let's see here. Eh. All right, so they are selling some Computronic substrate here and I want 96 of it, which is going to be expensive. But it will be worth it in the long run. 96. Whew. 786,000. Okay. That's fine. We'll go ahead and go there, pick up all of that, and then we'll come back to the station here at 18 billion silicon factory. And I'm going to transfer the wares with the building storage. There we go. That should finish them up. And they also need a, a manager. So let's find some of our crew that we have. Uh, actually, I'm on a station right now, so might as well uh, come grab a, uh, a manager from the crew that are just wandering around this station. Might as well, right? Usually you can find one or two people loitering about so let's find somebody get them hired and we'll send them to be the manager at uh, our new silicon production 
There is a strange lack of people to, to work here on this station, so I'm just going to go into my my personnel menu here, and we're going to find somebody who is just a service crew on another ship. Looks like uh, we need to find somebody with some management. So let's take a look here. Let's look at all my service crew. Find somebody who's got a little bit of management, and then we will uh, train them up to be a better manager. This guy's got a tiny bit. So I'm going to say uh, Chiana. Can I help? Um, I would love to give you a seminar, but you can't do it. So that's fine. We're going to tell you to go to work at 18 billion as manager. Affirmative. Congratulations. You are now the manager at 18 billion. So Okay, so the 18 billion silicon factory now. Can I, can I help? give you a management seminar? Yes, I can. Good. Awesome. She's now up to a little over one star. Can I help? And I'll give her another one. She's now up to two stars. That's great. Can I help? And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, so now, now that we've gotten that done, let's take a look at our missions that we have available and see what we want to do um, we've got a couple from um, Dollbusta we have one to go talk with um, some split okay talk about uh, them uh, Talk about the split, or we could go talk to the uh, false god realm of the Paranid. Talk to them. That might be interesting. Or we could continue on with the fate of the Yaki, which I think is what we're going to do. So I'm going to set that to my active mission. Um, locate the current location of the Terran commander. Okay. So, it says it's very hard difficulty, so uh, that's interesting. Okay. So, I think we're going to we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch on over to Delilah's Swan Song, which is up here in Hatikva's Choice. I do believe, yep, there it is. All right. So we are in a Sin Destroyer. So, let's take a look and see what we got to do here. We got to undock. I'm thinking it might be worthwhile to use some of our earnings to uh, fly to Argon Prime. All right, to since this it takes so long for this thing to fly, I'm thinking we might use some of our transit time to go ahead and get another destroyer from the Argon Federation and add them into this fleet, and that way we can uh, finish off the Yaki once and for all. Alright, so I can get a Behemoth Vanguard from Argon at a low preset of for a low, low cost of 8.8 .8 million credits. Uh, it looks fantastic, by the way. Love it. Um, for a medium preset, 11 million. So I think I'll go with the low preset. I'm going to add it to the shopping... Confirm the order. There we go. Now we have another destroyer being produced, and we will once it is finished, we will add it to this Delilah Swan Song fleet, and uh, we'll be able to take on any challenge thrown at us. I think. Oh, at least I hope. Oh, there is a Cigaris Pioneer Pirate. Uh. Here, a Marauder Rattlesnake here in Second Contact, which is home to all my manufacturing stations. That makes me a little nervous. So I'm thinking I might fly down there as soon as we get out of this hazardous Danger. region. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, it's fine. You fly, fly through it. It's fine. You're fine. You're, you're really actually fine. Okay, well I'm about ready to send my behemoth down there. 
to uh, engage with that pun, that rattlesnake. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so that it can be en route. Yep. And then uh, I'll switch over to that and we'll engage that uh, rattlesnake. Because I want to... Uh, I'd love to get in a battle, a large ship battle. And, I, and I'm a little worried about my stations down there. Stupid pirates. There he is. Where's he going? Oh, that, this is an Antigone. Rattlesnake. Interesting. Where's he going? Where's he going? Alright, well, I'm out of the, uh... I am out of the dangerous place, so I want to... I would love to tail this guy. I don't want him to get out of my range. So, I think I will switch over to this behemoth vanguard. And I'm going to teleport to him. Unfortunately, these Quasar Vanguards were going to dock with that. Entering system. This Arden behemoth. Prime. Yeah. And, uh... It took off before they could, uh... Get rendezvoused with it. But I'm going to take command of this bad boy. Let's take a look at... The setup here. I want you to attack all enemies. I got two behemoth main batteries and then uh, some couple of shard turrets, medium, a couple of uh, medium pulse turrets and a couple of large pulse turrets. So that, that ought to be good. Let's take a look at my new destroyer here. Oh, the behemoth. Nice. It does have docks for four small ships. So that will be cool once I get them actually docked here to have a couple of Quasar vanguards we can use to... Uh, I like the look of this ship. Even better than the Lila Swan Song, to tell you the truth. So, yeah, that's really, really nice. So, hopefully they, they will come get rendezvoused with us soon. They are en route, looks like. We are now in second contact. Let's see if we can set a course for this guy here. Uh, now, there's a Marat. Now it says he's Tlotty. Interesting. Ah! I hit an asteroid. God dang it. So he's like changing his transponder so that uh, he didn't get attacked, I guess. Now he's showing as a Talati Marauder Rattlesnake. But I think in actuality, he is uh, the same the same guy all along. Look at this. Uh, this guy goes a little faster than the De Delilah Swan Song. So that's pretty good. Although it's still incredibly slow. Uh-huh, look at this. Now what it now is he Rattlesnake. Now he's fallen families. Interesting. And he's not even red. What the heck? What the heck's going on with him? He's just cycling through the different factions. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. This is very interesting. I'm gonna attack him regardless. I don't care what he's showing as. This Marauder Rattlesnake's about to get bit. <laughs> There's the old Rattlesnake. Look at him. That's a gorgeous ship. I need to get me some rattles Rattlesnakes. Where can I get one of those? Alright, let's match his speed. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and charge up my travel engines and we'll match his speed once we get up to him. That'll keep us uh, close by here. Like he's tra firing up his travel engines as well. I don't know what he's doing actually. What is he doing? Alright, we're about to change this guy's life here. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's call him. Apparently I can't tell him to, I can tell him to surrender. Uh, let's change the scan mode. Aster Rattlesnake. Scan him. Ah, didn't work. Alright, he's, cause he's getting out of here. Hold on. Where's he going? What, is somebody attacking him? 
Why is his shields going down? Oh, he's boosting. Interesting. Ah, he's boosting. Uh, now's the time to hit him. Now's the time to strike while he's boosting. Because his shields are down. I'm going to match his speed once we get a little closer. Now let's just match his speed, please. Oh, whoops. Let's get a few shots off on him. Are we hitting him? What the heck? What's happening? All right, performed a scan. Don't know what that showed me. What do you want? Surrender. That's supposed to be funny. No, it's not funny. Surrender. Where's he going? I'm telling you to surrender right now. What do you want? Surrender. That's supposed to be funny. No, it's not funny. All right, I guess I'm gonna mark him as hostile. Yes. And we're gonna fire. Damage is getting serious. Yeah, this, their, their shields are already out. <laughs> it's unfortunate for them. All right, so he's cruising along at 222, which is 100 meters per second faster than I can fly. So we're gonna have to engage our uh, travel engines. Okay. Let's get on up here. And what's this? Defense drones. Defense drones. Nice. Okay. Master speed. Okay. Damage is getting serious. Damage is getting serious, huh? Yep, we're hitting this old boy. Taking his shields up. Nice. I think we might have got his engines. Wish I could select his actual different parts. Maybe you can't with the batteries. Maybe I need to launch the uh, Quasar Vanguard up there. Let's see. If I select him and I go board, let's take a look here. Serious damage. Ship behavior while engaging the target. Target engines. I want to target turrets. I was asked to drop my cargo. Okay, and I want to I won't let you get away with that. launch pods at combat effectiveness. Okay. Let's do Here's weak. Start breaching at hull strength. Uh, medium. And defending crew I don't know about. Attacking marines. I got 24 out of 92. Uh, don't know what the risk is. Let's start the operation. Alright, so there goes my... We need to damage the target further. Landing pods, I guess. See if I can get closer. So it looks like other people are attacking him as well. Which is interesting. Okay. I would love to capture that rattlesnake. Let's get right up on him, I guess. Select the turret that is firing at me. So I've got one of my Quasar Vanguards. I could fly it over. Theoretically. I'm going to use some of my shield to boost. There we go. I 
I can't uh, do my... Uh, it's got five turrets right now. Supposedly. Hmm. I don't want to destroy the ship. Destroy the turrets. Huh? I'm trying to get close enough to do that. Escape. Escape the pirates. Okay. Let's see if I can get close enough to destroy these freaking turrets. Pretty much just my my turrets doing damage right now. Got three out of five turrets destroyed. Okay. No, don't blow up. All right. Stop. Stop attacking. Stop attacking. Okay. Let's fly on up. I need to get his turrets destroyed. And here's a turret right there. I can't I can't do anything with that okay all right we're gonna have to um... no don't blow up don't blow up he's down to six percent hole right now ow dang it somebody else blew him up okay well ouch that hurt. That hurt. And it blew up some of my guns, apparently. Which sucks. Okay. So, um, let's take a look at our inf <laughs> our behemoth now. I think it's going to have to get some repairs, probably. Um, ship overview. Let's look at the weapons. Behemoths. I think I guess they're fine. Might be able to repair them with uh, our repair crews. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what just happened. Well, I mean, I know what happened. We we didn't we didn't win. That's what happened. We didn't win. Let's go back to the fate of the Yaki. Set that back to active. And we'll tell the Delilah to head on up. Where's the Delilah at? Delilah Swan Song. We'll tell her to head on up to Getsafune. And we want her to. Actually, where, are, where is she headed? She's going. Wow. Way on back to Earth. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and tell her to get headed that way. I guess we're going to head to Earth as well. All right, while I am traveling en route, let's just take a look at our monies and see how we are doing. Uh, I'm going to accept all estimates. And looks like we're going to bring in a couple mil. There we go. Uh, back up to 19 million. Nah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And here Entering we are Earth. at Earth, at glorious, wonderful Earth. Okay, interesting. Oh, well, it gave me the danger warning. Danger entering Earth. Kukri. <laughs> Fighter squadron Kukri. That's the commander. Okay. So the Kukri fighter squadron is the, is the commander of the fleet. That's interesting. You would think they'd be on a capital ship. Or, I would think that. Oh, that is a pretty nice fleet they got put together there. And it looks like they do have a uh, couple of Tokyo. good ships. What is that? Carrier Tokyo. Interesting. 
Honshu. And a resupply ship, Honshu. Okay. Well, let's go take a look and see what the old Kukri, Kukri commander here has to say. Hello there. Hello there. Good luck out there. No, you could look out there. I, I want to know what, uh, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, I'm here. I found the current location of the Terran commander. Now what? Now what? All right, let's point, bring up the the old mission here. Let's see. Thanks to your continued efforts and unwavering loyalty, a major new threat to the soul system was successfully identified. I'm pleased to inform you that Commander Lee has personally requested your assistance in the upcoming war of intervention. Periodically, the military resources of the Interceptors of Seoul will be pooled to form a mighty invasion fleet. The location of the fleet's flagship will be continuously relayed to your navigation system until the enemy has been completely obliterated or the fleet is forced to retreat. Okay, so are we supposed to be fighting here or... I mean, I see... The resupply ships and a, t and a carrier. Are we supposed to be attacking this uh, Taurus Eternal segment or something? It's a defense station. Not sure. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing. What is this tourist station here? I don't remember. It's an orbital ring station circling and guarding planet Earth until the advent of the second terraformer war. Structure scale and capabilities were unprecedented within the jump gate network. The tethers kept the station in a stable orbit and allowed the transportation of people and wares between the station and the planet. While the outward facing sections were completed, many of the sections facing Earth were still under construction. The limited this limited the number of people present on the Taurus Eternal to the estimated 1 million. The Taurus Eternal was ultimately destroyed during the Second Terraformer War. Two Argon infiltrators, Sayako Sy and Sherman Plotu, initiated an emergency procedure known as segment separation during which the station separated into its 420 constituent segments and drifted into higher orbit, irrevocably destroying the Taurus. This destruction of the Taurus triggered all-out war with the Argon Federation. Interesting. And this is segment number 34, apparently. Okay. Well, am I supposed to... I mean... Am I supposed to know what, what's happening here? I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I'm supposed to wait for them to initiate the war or whatever. Like, maybe I'll get a message that says... All right, we're heading out for, you know, whatever, battle, so saddle up, you know, <laughs> Tokyo. There's the Tokyo Carrier, that's cool. Osaka. An Osaka Destroyer, okay. Katana. There's a Katana. Katana. Medium ships. Fox. Fox, medium Fox. ships. Okay. Fox. Interesting. Ukri. Very interesting. Katana. Okay. Well, I don't know what else to do, so I guess I'm just going to call it a day for for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.